Monaco-based team Venturi Racing enter the sixth year of their Formula E campaign, and their second with the team principal Susie Wolf at the helm. Previously an independent outfit, Venturi will run with a Mercedes powertrain in the 2019-20 season, which might give them the boost they need to jump from the midfield to the front of the grid. Consistency was an issue for Venturi last season. The team's maiden victory, one of three podiums, sits in contrast with its many retirements and no-point finishes. Eduardo Mortara scored all 52 of his points in only three races, suggesting that eighth in the team's championship didn't reflect the team's full potential. Mortara retains his seat for the new season, as does former Formula 1 ace Felipe Massa. Will consistency in their lineup translate to consistency in results, and where will they stand in comparison to the factory Mercedes team? For sure we have a new power unit, you know, Mercedes is just arriving now, you know, in the championship. Last year they were using a completely different power unit like we were using uh, in Venturi. So at the end, uh, it's a lot to work, it's a lot to learn, it's a lot to understand for the first race. Whatever happens, this will be an important year for Venturi as they try to establish a foothold in a grid increasingly filled with manufacturing giants. They might not boast the heritage of those manufacturers, but Venturi's recent automotive history is notable for its focus on fully electric vehicles. The Evolution of Venturi The evolution of Venturi started in 2004 with the Venturi Fetish. The 180 kilowatt, 241 brake horsepower electric sports car with a top speed of 171 kilometers per hour was the first of its kind. The 2006 Venturi Eclectic Concept. It's an EV, but not like most, given that as well as conventional charging, it also gathers and stores its power from a roof-mounted solar panel and its very own wind turbine. The 2006 Venturi Astrolab. Top speed of 120 km per hour and a bodywork made up of solar cells. Powered by sunlight, it can charge enough each day to generate 18 km of range. The 2011 Venturi Fetish 2. 220 kilowatts and 296 brake horsepower, and the updated powertrain gave an improved 340 kilometers of claimed range with a 54 kilowatt hour lithium polymer battery. The 2016 Buckeye Bullet, 11 meters long with two 1500 brake horsepower motors and an average record speed of 549 kilometers per hour. The 2018 Venturi Antarctica, two times 60 kilowatt motors and a top speed of 25 kilometers per hour. The Antarctica is Venturi's polar exploration vehicle. And finally, the Venturi Gen 2 Formula E car. 335 brake horsepower, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.7 seconds and a top speed of 280 kilometers per hour. Where will Venturi sit in the new Formula E hierarchy? Find out on the 22nd and 23rd of November as the new season kicks off at the Diria e Prix.